Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen and I hope you, as always, are well. Today we're testing some more kitchen gadgets. Uh, there's two playlists, remember, individual ones and this bulk one. This is Kitchen Gadget Bulk, number like 33, I think? Something like that. We've done a lot. You guys are probably in the middle of a barathon right now because you love them so much. So thank you if you've only just discovered these. Start back at number one after this video and watch them all. It's a roller coaster of emotions and fun things. We have got a handful of gadgets right down there that I pulled up from the magic ever-growing box upstairs uh, that some are novelty uh, some may be useful to people with disabilities so please consider that before commenting down below but as always let's give them a darn good go all right so the first gadget today uh, is from a company called joseph joseph we've done a few of their gadgets before very solid strong good reputation in the kitchen gadget world very quirky novelty colors all that stuff and they're not paying me to even say that I've actually got really high hopes for this one. Wasn't that a song? He's got high... I don't know. Uh, so there's a saucepan like that, and you've got these individual coloured pods that can sit around the saucepan like that and steam... Uh, I, well, we're going to go for vegetables today, but you can steam anything. I guess you could steam fish in there, I suppose. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So basically, yeah, it allows you to steam foods differently and they hook onto your pan, they're compact as well, so they'll sit like that in your drawers, nice and space-saving. So really, this could be extremely useful. And as it's steaming, it's going to take quite a while. They just need to make sure that throughout the rest of this video, I keep my eye... There it is again, on, on the pan. All right, so I've just given them a quick wash and uh, taken all the packaging away because we don't need that anymore. Uh, I don't know if any of you get attached to packaging after you open something, but I certainly don't. And there we go. That's the uh, little metal hook thing there that's going to basically not do that. It's going to let it sit on there like that. Oh, that's cool. I really like that. But as cool as that looks, remember, we're not boiling. Uh, we're not poaching it. We're steaming it. So we want the water level to just be underneath it. I actually managed to get quite a fair bit in there. All right, so uh, putting that on the heat, and obviously bear in mind that when you're steaming the water, that le water level will eventually go down and down and down. Do not run out of water. That will be very dangerous. Keep your, uh, keep your eye on it. But what are we gonna steam, I hear you ask? It's gonna form part of possibly the world's weirdest omelet at the end of this video, you'll see. I got some peas, frozen peas. Petit pois, to be precise. Petit pois, very nice. Some good old Chantenay. Carrots. Was that Silence of the Lambs? Was that in there? I think it was. Oh no, that was... Oh, I might have even pronounced that right. I'm just going to call them Chardonnay. Yeah. Sometimes you guys like it when I pronounce things wrong. Other times it winds you up a treat and I love it. Last but by no means least, this is one of the first gadgets I have ever, ever, ever getting back together had. This has been in my gadget box for months. Like literally one of the first ones. And every time I'd be like... Yes, I'll use that one, that one, that one, and this one go right to the bottom. But now it's its time. It has risen to the top. This is the one-step corn kerner as seen on TV. In fact, it doesn't even say as seen on TV. It just says TV. So we've got some corn, and we need to kernel it. Kernel. And there it is. Wow. Every time I got, like, sort of looked it in the box, I was like, does it really look like a disc like that with the red thing on? And it 100% does. It kind of looks like a donut, doesn't it? <laughs> It's got the instructions on the top, align the top, slide it down, and then you pour out. All oh, right, so the corn actually goes inside the donut, and there's your funnel. That's really, really cool. It's that perfect combination, like a lot of kitchen gadgets, of plastic mixed with very sharp blades. But I feel quite a bit of trust in this. It feels solid and feels good. So that the metal ring there, so where the blade is the other side, it lines up pretty much perfectly with the... The width of corn, I guess corn is generically usually the same width. I feel like the carrots are just kind of sat watching like an audience. So align the top. <laughs> wow, that was fun. That was really, really fun. Oh my gosh. How much fun can you have with corn? Oh, this is tricky. Now what? Start spreading the news. Look, it hasn't made it all the way down. <laughs> hmm. Look, look at all the corn in there. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> and my corn's all falling out now. Urgh. Let's, uh, oh yeah, that's good. I'm getting all the corn bits out. It has actually worked. My, my theory is that I guess it's just kind of wedged now. <laughs> it's kind of like a nice little placeholder. Put a candle in it or something. My theory is if I just go like that, oh. <laughs> Very awkward. I stab myself in the eye with it. That ain't coming out, and I want to do another bit of corn. What's going on? Hey, what's going on? In general. Uh, uh, yes. 
get in there. Oh, the few little bits on the end, they survived. Imagine that if you were that piece of corn, you're like, yes, we made it, buddy, we made it. It's so much fun. It's a workout though. And it's, get, <laughs> it's giving me sweet corn juice. Oh my gosh. I don't know, I was really liking this at first, but now everything's sort of stuck. Bottom line is it works. There are some other sweet corn gadgets that I've done in the past that are better than this. And there are others that I will review in soon. So we can start to cook our peas, carrots, and of course, sweet corn. You see that there is steam coming up. It is just boiling, but the water is not going into the pods. Amazing. Obviously now I'm gonna put all the ingredients in. It's gonna go, don't do that. But the cool thing is as well, you can actually, the actual plastic bits here are safe to handle. You could lift them out if you want. Sweet corn, which sadly is a, <laughs> it's leaking a bit still, but that's fine if that drops into the, the water with steaming. It just means I just need to clean up my work surface right now. And the carrots, which if obviously I sliced them up, they would cook much quicker, but we've got some time on our side. See the steam? Oh yeah. And that's it. I just got to tidy up this mess before we move on to the uh, next gadget, which is actually quite novelty. In fact, it's very, very novelty. <laughs> yes, this is indeed novelty. Uh, this, my friends, uh, was sent to me by a company called Ototo, which uh, could be an Indian chief or also another name for a vegetable. Uh, Clean Dreams kitchen sponge holder. I kid you not, this is basically a holder for your generic green and yellow kitchen sponge, but it comes with one. So that's good. Once the dishes are clean and bright, lay your sponge in its bed and let it sleep tight. See more of our designs on their website. Okay, this is the only one I was sent, but I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, just send me it and I'll just put it by my sink. Now, I actually prefer washing up. Uh, we have a dishwasher, but I actually like just doing that. I find therapeutic, the actual washing process, the drying, I don't like that. In fact, a lot of our uh, stuff, we tend to sort of just let it drip dry, turn it upside down, all that stuff. But there it is. <laughs> it's literally a bed for a sponge. Is that? Oh, please oh yeah, I was gonna say those pillows are actually on it, but look. Woohoo! You can take it apart. Look, I've got a, an aerial from a TV. So they've actually gone to the effort of doing like the whole bed frame with the pillows sort of burned onto it. The wooden actually slats. I guess that's good for drainage though, to be fair, because you can take that out and then you spill your water away. I'm freestyling here. And then you slot that in once you're done. Let's give it a lullaby style, pride of place by the sink. Look out for it in future videos until Mrs. Barry moves it, which is probably highly likely. Good night, kitchen sponge holder. Those vegetables have had a little sneak peek are steaming absolutely gorgeously and it's about to get even hotter in here, my friends, with more pan action. In the vlog recently, I mentioned about some glasses that my friend Dave in America crowdfunded. These are them, they, uh, I use them on computer screens. Sometimes when I'm on my phone, uh, they've actually got a bit of tinting and he successfully crowdfunded them. So as well as the link to all these gadgets in the description, uh, I'll also leave a link to his product on Amazon. These, uh, they're pretty cool and they work an absolute charm. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I get these dreams. I'm like, does that thing exist? I'm sure I'm not the only one that does it. Please tell me you do it. Maybe not for like kitchen gadgets. It could be anything. And then you find it, it does exist and you order it on your phone. And before you realize it, here it is. <laughs> so I actually the other day thinking, oh, what if there was a salt and pepper shaker to help people that was like electronic? It exists and there's probably more. This was the first one I found. Cole and Mason, uh, English brand, uh, salt and pepper already in there. Two in one electric system, salt and pepper, effortless, Convenience. We all like effortless convenience. It's very convenient at low effort. Ricola Mason are an English company. Uh, world renowned salt and pepper mills enhance your home and food, incorporating our ceramic mechanism. These durable and quality mills season consistently and professionally. You want to season consistently like Salt Bay. You want that even flow, right? You don't want to be like meh, meh. Yeah. Imagine if Salt Bay just used this with your choice of grind coarseness. Oh, can we change the coarseness? I didn't even think of that, that's awesome. Freshly milled, our finest peppercorns and natural coarse sea salt really bring out the taste in your food to give you real depth of flavor. Oh, I like the packaging. It's kind of like a Christmas present. It was not cheap, but I can actually feel that anyway. This is a weighty thing. It's got two little uh, shoots there, salt and pepper. It's got a lock on it. Can you see that? Lock, uh, padlock open and closed, I guess, to stop the mechanism working. Let's do it. Whoa. Okay, so here we go. Uh, oh, it's got a P on it as well. An S. So let's go for some salt first. 
Please don't do this. <laughs> oh no, please don't, is this where the batteries go? I don't know where the batteries go. Oh, maybe I just need to, oh yeah, it's on lock. Please work. Ooh, right, so. <laughs> There's no batteries in it. It didn't say that on the box. Luckily, I'm an internet sensation and I have batteries coming out of my ears. That's a joke. I'm not an internet sensation. I just have a lot of batteries. Oh no, these are triple A's. I've got a lot of batteries, but I've got... Hmm. I need triple A batteries. <laughs> That's going to be the weirdest voicemail. Actually, probably not. One of the weirdest voicemails Mrs. Barry's had for me in the last two weeks. All right, I'm not proud, but I've got double A's coming out of my ears. Triple A's. TV remote. Phoebe's alarm clock. These better be good now. Are you kidding me? It's far. Oh, I've got far. I've got one more. Spe There's like... A six. <laughs> I don't need... I've still not got enough. <laughs> still not got... It's just one. Oh my... There's got to be something else upstairs with triple A's. Told you I was the battery master. Look. <laughs> I did found a random pack of triple A's. Honestly, this has got to blow my mind now. So that goes on. So it's only a locking mechanism to actually uh, access the battery thing. So, locked in. What's going on, guys? <laughs> why, why is it stopped? S. S. All right, let's try P. I'm turning it to the widest setting, so obviously that's how it's how strong it's milled. So I'm getting more out if I just shake it like some maracas. Yeah, <laughs> I just pressed the button by accident, but that sounded much better. Salt. Can you see that? Pepper. I mean, they're so fine specs, you might not be able to see it, but hopefully you can see the pepper just landing on the salt there. Works. <sighs> All right. Uh, this is not like a, a massive sort of wristband or something like that. Uh, it's a splatter guard. It's a silicon splatter guard. I've got a few different versions of these upstairs. It's all going to do the same thing, isn't it? Um, I'm going to cook some sausages for my ever-growing strange omelette. It's got a bit where you can put a spoon in and stir it round, but we need to access the sausages for another gadget. Ooh, because this other gadget is one that I have been bombarded. Bombarded, I tell you, by you guys. have been sitting, like sending me links, you've been like writing to my home address, turning up my house, knocking on the door, going, look, no, Barry, check out this. The two-in-one spatula and tongs. It's basically two-in-one spatula and tongs. Comfortable non-slip handle, wet or dry, safe for non-stick cookware, silicon head and neck are heat resistant to 480C. It's silicon, it's pretty good. Portions, flips and serves food. So that's cool. I don't wanna to do too much with this. I, I, I get what it does, like flipping pancakes and stuff like that, but I liked, there's an image there, can you see? You see those sausages there? How they've like bunched together, so they've cooked them, moved them around with the tongs, and then scooped them up like that. That appeals to me. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh. I was kind of half expecting them to go... Oh, there we go. Yeah, they pop open a little bit more. They've basically just taken the generic uh, tongs that you get everywhere. There you go. They are actually the same ones. Those cheeky rascals. And now you've got me doing a video for you. Uh, right, pop that out, they'll open up like standard tongs. So they, I bet if I took those off, no, they wouldn't have even done the nice stumpy bits on them. They're just literally metal. Little bit of non-slip, locky lock like that, but it's all about this bit. Way Feels like very superhero-ish, like I'm Mr. Tongue Man. Oh, someone's in danger. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Yes, it's actually really cool. This is a game. 
buy another one and just throw kiwis at someone else. I can now see why this is a fun thing. Okay, so I've just stuck some sausages in a pan with some oil and I'm throwing them away. Check the water level of the vegetables. We're steaming, the, the peas were done ages ago to be fair. The sweet corn's pretty much nearly there, but the carrots are gonna need a little bit more time and we've still got that, which is awesome. Uh, so I am, as I say, not needing to top the water right now, but I don't wanna burn no pans. But anyhow, these sausages, they're starting to spit oil. I'm not really gonna keep this on there. Just really wanted to show you because this is designed more for sort of cakes um, and making batter and stuff because you put the whisks in there. But it can also work for this. So when the oil is spraying up and the fact that you can still use in a spatula, push the sausages around. Of course, it's a little tricky to see it, but sometimes people will actually message me going, oh, have you got any ideas for like splatter proof sausages? Well, this is just one way. Use one of these, but as I say, much more common to put some electric whisks in there and make buttercream and stuff like that. But there is quite a bit of oil spitting up from these, so that, as long as you're right with moving them, it's a nice little hack. So when we're using these tongs, you've still got the ends on them, so you can grab and flip and turn things over. To be fair, this is actually really, really cool. I don't know, it just to me, it still looks like a superhero utensil, I don't know. They should have totally branded it like that. Probably hear the sausages sizzling in the background. They're done, I'm bringing them over. So this is where this thing, you can actually serve from it as well. Not like tennis, but what I mean by that is look, scooping up sausages, multiple sausages. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, I got four. <laughs> Last one. I'm gonna clean this pan up for our final gadget. Was it Kanye West that jumped on stage at an award ceremony and went, whoa, 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 I'm gonna let you finish Omelette. This is the fat-free omelette maker. Uh, it's basically another one that's been in my gadget box for a long, long time. I was thinking, is this any good? We're gonna find out now by making an omelette. I'm just gonna quickly beat together some eggs. We use the sausage and vegetables and even the salt and pepper. Okay, so some beaten eggs. Seasoned. <laughs> of course. Some steamed peas. Ha, 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 ha. Some of the carrots and our sweet corn, which has been on a heck of a journey today. Just cutting up the sausages that we cooked and the carrot as well, might as well. And that all mixed together is gonna be a very, very, very strange omelette filling indeed. But it's not about the omelette. It's about this thing, which literally just feels like a black piece of paper. So this is a 20 centimeter pan which the omelette thing fits pretty much perfectly inside and that's what we want. We want to get this hot and I assume that's because the minute the egg hits it, it will start to set and firm within it. Apparently we can test if it's ready by adding a very small amount of egg and seeing if it sets. Well, <laughs> that's not moving. Ugh. Now that's cooking almost straight away. So I'm going to turn the heat down literally now so it's still on and the egg is going in. It's got to be enough to fill the disc, apparently. How exciting. We're basically waiting for it to begin to set on the top. Oh, it's certainly starting to get a skin on it. Right, I'm going for it. Okay. Remove pan from heat and allow handles to cool or use an oven glove or tongs. Pull one handle up and pivot around the central hinge. Okay. It says to potentially prod it down to seal it with a spatula like so. Okay. <laughs> so cook on this side for a minute and then flip it over, cook it for another minute. Lift out the pan with both the handles like a handbag. All right, one minute. Guess I can move it around a bit. Oh yeah. See any excess like that? Try and scoop that out, there we go. Uh, and then we take these handles, lift and turn over like so. <laughs> It's definitely browned on the side. That was the side that was exposed. Has it split? Oh no, my omelette. Kanye, it's split. It's not a one use product, is it? No way. All right, that's time. Turn the heat off. Lift it out like a handbag. <laughs> Ooh, anyone want to go shopping? Right. Oh, it's more like a pancake in color, but that's cooked. It's cooked both sides. I think these are gaps that are in it anyway. It didn't cut. The world's strangest omelette has worked. Needs uh, some seasoning. 
A bit of melted cheese wouldn't go amiss, but I put barbecue sauce on everything as well. <laughs> it's a stuffed omelette. No. <laughs> Ah, woo. What an emotional journey of vegetables, AAA batteries, and silicon this video has been. It's all right. <laughs> it is actually not too bad. Woo, that was a pretty full on one today, folks. We did good. High five the camera right now. High five your screen right now. Boom. I'm gonna let you have a barathon now and spend the rest of your days watching the rest of this playlist and all the other videos. If you try any recipes, send me pictures. If you get any of these gadgets and you tell me any, learn anything about it, do let me know on social media at Mother Edge and Kitchen. My favorite one was actually these uh, superhero style uh, tong spatula things. I'm really impressed by it. I was like, nah, this ain't gonna work, but awesome. As always, I'll leave a description to all the gadgets in the link below and of course a link to my friend Dave's glasses if you fancy checking those out. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.